Change.com. It's coming here very soon. Come on. Turn to the right, turn to the right. I have to look at the screen. I'm too good at this game. Come on. good at this game. Yeah, I, I just practiced it a lot. For only being alive for like two days, that's uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> Thanks. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, if there were an omnipotent force looking in on us, I bet they wouldn't be able to see it. Yeah, it sucks for them. Hey, uh, have you two kids seen William? I can't find him. What do you mean you can't find him? Oh, I can't find him. Uh, I've been decorating the pizzeria for the last two days, but I haven't seen him since you last saw him. I asked him to build the animatronics, but I didn't think he'd be such a recluse. Do you think he'd ditch you, Dad? Oh, uh, but of course not. Uh, your other dad wouldn't abandon us. But now that I think about it, I did ask him to get some milk while he was gone. Well, what are you going to do if he doesn't come back, Dad? Uh... Charlie, how good are you at dancing? I'm not doing this. Uh, let's go find William, Sammy. <laughs> you cool kids, be careful. I'm playing the video game. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, Sammy, what's up? Do we actually know where William lives? Uh... No. Does Dad even know? I don't think so. <sighs> what are we gonna do? We're never gonna find him. Yeah, he really could be anywhere. <sighs> what's that very masculine British panting? Yeah, I hear it too. Maybe it's coming from over here. Wait up, Sammy. What the? Come on, gotta get this joint in, please! <sighs> huh? Oh, hi, William. Hi, other dad. Oh, hello there, Fredbear and Charlie. Oh, uh, dad told me that was a stage name, so I just go by Sammy. Oh, well, uh, sorry, Sammy. Um, but anyways, uh, what do you two need? Well, you've been missing for the past two days, and dad was just wondering what you were doing. Oh, I've been working on my new animatronics! This is Spring Bonnie. Uh, you know, the name just kinda came to me, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. And then I don't actually have a name for him yet, but uh, we'll figure that one out. Figured they could be like siblings and stuff. Uh, he's not quite done yet. I uh, kind of ran out of yellow fabric, so uh, we just kind of threw something together, I guess. What's all the red parts on him? I dropped my meatloaf into his ribcage. Are you gonna get it out? Eh, it should be fine. So, um, you need to come back to the pizzeria now? Oh yes, momentarily. I just have to hook up the batteries to them, I guess. Well, I technically have to finish spring... I don't know what to call him. Why'd you name the one girl Spring Bonnie, anyway? Well, I use the spring lock technology when creating Sammy and her, so, uh, spring, and then, I don't know, Bonnie's a girl name. Then why didn't you just name her Bonnie? I wanted to be a little more creative, you know, if your stage name is Fred Bear, I figured Spring Bonnie add some kind of adjective to it, I don't know. What about something like Marigold? You know, play on the word, like, the flower, and since she's golden, Marigold? Mm. Only an idiot would come up with that name. Ow. Anyways, yeah, Spring Bonnie and Spring... Ooh, ooh, other dad, I got one. What is it? Maybe you could name him Springtrap, because your meatloaf got trapped in his ribcage. Hmm, Springtrap, quick, punny, rolls off the tongue. I like it. The meatloaf is definitely not an allegory for something. All right, well, uh, I'll go get the batteries now. Uh, you two watch them, make sure they don't, you know, spring to life or something like Sammy did. <laughs> okay, other dad. Wow, my own stage performer. And this guy. I can already smell the meatloaf. This isn't going to go well. I mean, it'll probably stop stinking. Eventually. Maybe we could give him a bath while William's gone and he won't know. Not a terrible idea. What are those two floating orbs? Ooh, I want to ponder the orb. What are they doing? <laughs> hey, I wonder if the one thing you say didn't want to happen happened. Maybe. <sighs> <sighs> what is happening? Who am I? Who are you? Ugh, I don't know who the hell are you. Who are those guys? Are you our parents? No, we're, we're like the same age. Well, I'm sorry when we're all like weird furry animals that don't really have any like youthful characteristics and you're a... I want to say cat? I'm a ventriloquist puppet. That was my guess. No, it wasn't. All right, got the better. What did I just ask the two of you to do? Who are you? Are you our dad? You look a lot more like us. <sighs> yes, I'm your father, William Afton. You are Spring Bonnie and Spring Shop, respectively. 
Ooh, I like the name Spring Bonnie. I like that one. I think it fits me. I'm pretty sure you're Springtrap. Nah, definitely not. Yes, green one, you are Springtrap. I think he's talking to you. Oh my god, you're Springtrap and you're Spring Bonnie. Ow! So, uh, Dad, what do we do? <sighs> you like, I don't know, sing and dance. You're supposed to perform in our restaurant. I didn't really want to activate you, considering you're not done, but whatever, I guess you're done now. I think my slightly shorter ear adds character in my facial hair. I think those are wires. My wires? Well, considering all the animatronic entertainments that are meant to be placed since Righteous Establishment are finished and completed, why don't we go back to Henry's house? Oh, cool, I would like to go see my father again. Let's go. Come on, Sammy. Woo! Alright, you two, jump, jump. Oh, okay, come on, spring trap. Oh. All right, I think we're pretty much done. Henry, we've returned. Oh, hi there, William. Whoa, you got two new friends behind you. Yes, I do. This is Spring Bonnie and Spring Trap, respectively. Hi there, Mr. Henry, sir. Oh, please. Henry, sir, was my father's name. Call me Henry. Oh, uh, all right, Henry. You must be Spring Trap. How do people keep mixing this up? I'm Spring Bonnie. Oh, uh, sorry, Spring Bonnie. <sighs> nice place you got here. What's it for? Uh, you guys. Oh. Cool. Yeah, the dads have been saying that we're supposed to be animatronic entertainers. Yeah, you guys are gonna, like, sing and dance and, like, serve pizza to the customers and stuff. Wait a second, so you made us just to be your work people? Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with us. Do we have to pay them? We were gonna make money from this? Eh, fair enough. It's a non-profit, so we legally don't have to pay you. This is a lot different than I remember it. Remember what, honey? Uh, nothing, nothing. Well, hop on stage, you three. Uh, Spring Bonnie and Fredbear can go over there, and Springtrap can go in the corner. What? Why do I have to go in the corner? You kind of smell like moldy meatloaf. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why that's the case. Dad, I can take a bath. Hey, I had no part in your creation. I am Uncle Henry to you. Half-brother. Why is he so mean? He's not mean, you just do- you do smell kinda bad. Yeah, Springtrap, I do hate to say it, you kinda smell bad. Wait, <laughs> Fine, I'll go take a bath! Hmm. Wait a minute. Ah, ah see, bud, it's a- it, it, it's a- it's a floral scent. Now you can smell good, and you don't have to get your spring locks wet. My insides have moved. <laughs> it does smell pretty nice, though. Dad, why do you own perfume? It's early 2015, son. Get with the times. Okay, geez. Well, I think this place is in tip-top shape. Everything looks perfect. All right, guys, learn to sing and dance. Uh, I'm not good at this. We'll just play our Spotify playlist over the speakers or something, and you guys can pretend you're singing. Oh, boy, I love pretend. Dad, are we really sure we're going to make them do this? Come on, Charlie, it's fun. Besides, it's for charity. So they're morally terrible people if they don't do it. I don't think that's how that works. Let me have this. Do we have Spotify Premium? Uh, I don't. Maybe we can get the advertisers to pay us money because, you know, we're putting them over the loudspeakers. I thought this was supposed to be a non-profit. All right. Psst, Falcon to Eagle, Falcon to Eagle. What, what is that sound? Is it safe to enter the abode? David, what are you doing? What, I wanna be sure it's safe to go in. Ugh. Hey, don't leave me, I can't do that. Uh. Hey, how's it going? Ah, where did he come from? I'm sorry, Sammy. It's okay. Name's Howard. Howard, uh, let me guess, your name's Spring Bonnie? How do you know my name? Uh, just a hunch. Who's the green guy over there? Oh, that's Springtrap. Wow, that's a stupid name. Hey, what, he can't hear me? I'm about to say it over here. Hi, Springtrap. Oh, hi, random purple bear. I think your name's really cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't. Wait, does Springtrap have guts inside him? Oh no, William just dropped his meatloaf in him. I feel kind of offended. Oh, we got spring locked like a decade ago. Get over it. I don't think this is getting over it. I don't think you've gotten over it either. Yeah, I have. You know, I just have a lot of nightmares where like my insides are being crushed and, and I can't call or cry or scream for help. It's cold. Dark. Maybe you do need more therapy than I do. No. Ooh, we can relate on a thing. I got spring locked a couple minutes ago in the bath. Oh yeah, you can't get them wet. How's the whole potentially unraveling the same events that have happened and continuing this stupid cycle been going? Well, William seems relatively normal. Yeah, well, he seemed relatively normal when we all met him too. 
And then we died. All at a result of his actions. I'm really happy that the actual animatronics are alive this time, because if not, then we would be having more dead people. Oh, well, I don't want to think about an animatronic inside an animatronic. That's what DeviantArt's for. What's DeviantArt? Uh, you don't want to know. Have you been going on the internet again? What? I gotta stay up with the times! Wait a minute. I just realized. Did, did William say it's 2015? Oh, wait. Did we time travel? Did you guys not know this? No? no? Generating an entire dimension takes a long time. It felt like an instant. Felt like that for me too. I just kind of figured it would take a while. Didn't think it would take till 2015, but still. Jesus Christ, it's been more than 20 years. Does that mean we're older? Well, we never technically age, so no. Dang it. Why do you care? You're an adult. I don't know. I want to know what it felt like to be middle-aged. Guys, I don't even know basic math. Uh, I don't want to know what it's like to be middle-aged. What's 32 plus 15? Give me a minute. You can give entire entities life and you don't know what 32 plus 15 is. I want to say 45? Eh, close enough. Well, uh, what would William's motive even be? Well, his children aren't dead, so probably not anything, really. So realistically, there would be no reason for the events to occur the same way that they did prior. It really is the good ending. I think the only way something could go wrong is if he remembered everything. Yeah, but like, that's not gonna happen. Right? I don't think so. Well, let's just hope it doesn't. Hey, Charlie, do you want to go play video games? Uh, yeah, sure, in a minute, Sammy. Ooh, uh, video games? Can I play? Uh, well, we only got two controllers. We could take turns. Eh, that's a good point. Did I hear somebody say video games? I want to play too. <laughs> ah, kids. Gotta love them. Yeah, so full of youth and prowess. Hey, David. Hey, Howard. When did you get here? Like, ten minutes ago. Oh, wow. All right, well, Dad, we're going to go uh, play video games now. So come on, guys. Let's go away from me. Bye. What do you want to do now? Why don't we go build a machine? <gasps> oh, that sounds fun. Come on. Whee. Man, I'm really happy things are going well for everybody. Yeah. I'm shocked that William seems to be, you know, so nice. I am too, but if he's enjoying himself, then good. Let's let this miracle just kind of slide. Yeah. Did you hear that? It sounded like a terror in the time-space continuum. <gasps> oh my god. Oh god, I knew we shouldn't have used super glue and duct tape to put this place together! We didn't do that. Well, yeah, but I was just trying to think of a rationale as to why this is happening. Hi, Cassidy. What did you two do? Okay, do you remember how we told you about that whole thing where we were gonna make this place for all our friends to go and live a better life? No! Yeah, David, we kind of did this thing on a whim, if you don't remember. Oh, yeah, we did. I've been looking for you guys for more than 20 years, and I find you're here? I mean, unless we went invisible in the safe room, we were kind of there for a while, and then all of a sudden, we just uh, popped up here. What even is this stupid place? It's a safe place, a sanctuary. Also, I want to let you know that technically speaking, this is also Charlie's fault, so you should be splitting this blame three ways. I would be blaming her, but she's currently playing video games with another version of Fredbear, Spring Bonnie, and what I believe to be William's deceased corpse. The hell? No! Okay, first of all, Springtrap's got meatloaf in him. God, you're naming the thing now? That'd be really ironic if one of the robots that William made in this dimension also looks like how he looks like right now in the real world. I can't believe you all brought William here. Of all people! Hey, hey, listen, we wanted to give him a second chance. He doesn't deserve a second chance. He's been doing fine. We've been here for a couple weeks, and, you know, him and Henry have just kind of done their little thing, their little doodad, and, and you know, they built their little pizzeria with their little characters. Oh, yeah. So they're building another pizzeria. What's to say he won't kill again? I don't even want to know what being a ghost and being, like, a weird life organic animatronic is like. It's just... You're making abominations out of nothing. I don't even know why I look like this. We thought looking like plushy stuffed animals would have been cute. You mean you thought this would have been cute. Hey, don't put the blame solely on me because then she's going to be more mad at me. That should just be mad at me and Charlie too. I'm already mad at all three of you. This idea is ludicrous. Hey, Cassidy, the adults are talking. I've been a ghost floating in limbo for 20 years. I think I qualify as an adult now. Did we just like forget to put her spirit in perpetual limbo? Well, I, I don't know. You always just hide away in the shadows. I couldn't find you. Oh yeah, your stupid tiny little dumb poo poo brain couldn't find me. Adults don't say poo poo. Shut it. It doesn't seem like you want to be a part of this anyway. I don't. That's why I'm coming to yell at you two about it. Do you know how long I've been waiting for this? Waiting for what? For William to die. Me to have access to his soul. Ooh. 
I've had so many plans to torment him until his brain rots to mush. You have some serious anger issues. Oh yeah? Tough guy? Cassidy, you don't want to fight us. Why don't we come to an agreement? If I've got anger issues, why don't we let me get my anger out? Okay, let's just put the little girl on timeout. Whoa! Jesus! Cassidy, let's talk about this! I'd rather not! Ow! Ha! <laughs> you really thought you could hit me with a stupid box. Ow! No, but I thought I could hit you with two. Uh, Cassidy, we don't want to fight you. Yeah, come on. Let's try this thing out. You know, like I said, it's been going well. Everyone's having a hunky-dory old time. Just... Let us just have this. Fine. I'll oblige for now. Mostly because it seems to be three against one. But make sure Charlie's aware. And this is only under one condition, too. Alright, what are your terms? If this whole thing doesn't work out and William goes berserk again, I want to do things my way. And your way is? There's this place called The Void. I imagine we all have access to it, as <laughs> I do. Oh, okay, yeah, so you just do this. <clears throat> I don't think that works. Uh, let me try. <laughs> Whoa, my god! Now you can close it again. Uh. Whoa. The void's the place I've been residing for the last 20 years or so. I've sort of been prepping my little game for William. I imagine it won't take long for him to break. So when he does and things start to go sideways for the people here, send him my way. Wait, so we get to keep our sanctuary and you get to have William if things go wrong? I actually really like these terms. Yeah, thought of them myself. You know, I'm just so smart and all, and you two are so stupid. Okay, Al, but yeah, sure, why not? If it makes you happy and we're allowed to keep what we've got, then fine. Trust me, Cassidy, he's not gonna give in. Oh, trust me. Every day I wait for him to give in, I'll be building more and more of that anger. <laughs> I'm ready to get my hands dirty. What exactly do you have planned for him? Have you ever heard of isoptrophobia? Uh, no. Maybe you should find out. Or the Google. What the hell is a Google? I have a lot to teach you about the internet. See you soon. Man, that was creepy. Why is she so extra? I don't know. Alright, well, let's just keep things going for a while. I'm sure it'll be fine. So when are we telling Charlie about this? Whenever I feel like it.